Hello, hello. I hope everyone is having a terrific week. He posted this song, Two Hearts, Phil Collins, on uh, Facebook, actually, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh, is he talking about me? So, yes, he was, and so here we are. And there he is. Okay, anyway, so I brought up Phil Collins, The Two Hearts. Uh, we've talked about Van Halen. Uh, you want a black fantastic shirt? This is my gray. Can you see that? It looks like it's on sideways, but it's not. Oh, the back. I make suggestions, you make decisions. Okay? So, <laughs> we're going to work on these. I'm just like getting, getting an idea together of how I would like the t-shirts to look. So, um, and I want to do a giveaway too, so I thought I would give away... I thought I would give away some of them. Bring him on the camera. We want to meet him. My husband, he is, um, he's playing a video game with a friend. <laughs> 80s. No, we didn't have those in the 80s. We had those little stick Ataris or whatever you call them. Listen, we had a great vacation. Uh, we went to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Um, we went to Savannah, Georgia. We rode bikes all over the islands and we laid on the beach for days and just had a terrific time. I, I do videos on vacations and I'm very serious about that. I think that everyone should uh, go on vacation and I just think that if you take a family vacation, it makes some memories and uh, it's just so fun to let the kids run around and play and we do velocity banking so it's not hard on your finances. Thank you, Veronica. Oh, wait, there it is. I'm going to Belize. I am so afraid to travel overseas. I want to go. You didn't read my question? Linda, what's your question? How do you get out of debt when you don't make enough money to pay your bills? Oh, well, that's a good question. It depends on uh, what kind of bills you have, how they are like in credit card form and loans, uh, mortgages. You kind of need to send me your numbers and let me look those over, Linda. Okay. We could maybe figure yeah. out something for you. Okay, Jazz. We are going to be looking into some more t-shirts just because uh, this is kind of cute. Very good. I like the brand, but because it's, you know, it's a V and a V. And it's just like with the mortgage. You think that you're doing really, really, really good, and then, wow, you're you're really getting sucker punched, and you don't even realize it. So, um, as far as pulling it from a 401k to pay on debt, absolutely. If you are in trouble with your debt, you need to gain some cash flow, then if it's going to be worth your time to pull it because see with a 401k you have to make the payments back and i think you can set them up as long as five years so if you make the payments back at whatever uh, rate they give you if that's a small payment compared to the cash flow you're gaining then it's probably a good idea for you to pull that just to pay off your debt i think it's you can draw 50 percent up to fifty thousand. So, like, if you have 100000 in it, you can draw 50000 out. Uh, I'm not real good with 401ks because I don't study them. I'm more into infinite banking because I see how that now is a real wealth builder. I'm very excited about that. I've been doing that for a few years now, and uh, you can't beat it for guaranteed growth. Um, no taxes. And if you die, you don't lose your money. It goes to your beneficiary. No taxes. Uh, and guaranteed growth. You can't lose it. I mean, it just goes on and on the benefits of infinite banking. So that's, uh, that to me is the wealth builder that everyone should be using to put their extra funds in. Yes, how things are set up financially for humans makes life so difficult. That is right, Jazz, and we are working that out with Velocity Banking. I'm not advising you. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I am Christy, and I have uh, had experiences, and I've learned a few things, and I make suggestions, 
and you make decisions. In my videos, 99% of the time, I will figure the interest on the high number because I'm leaving room for error because I make mistakes all the time. Look at my YouTube videos and read the comments and you will see how I've got my critics out there adding and subtracting for me and they let me know, hey, you missed this. And sometimes they're wrong and sometimes they're right. So I make mistakes. Do you all have any other questions? Can you tell us about infinite banking? That's my favorite subject in the whole wide world. Listen, infinite banking is beautiful. Infinite banking, let's talk about it. I have a video on infinite banking. I have policies. There is no better way to build your wealth in my mind, I'm sorry. You know, if you're doing um, real estate and you are, you know, making lots of money off of Airbnb or if you've got lots of property and you're renting, I'm sure you can make a lot of money with that. But when I'm talking about wealth building, I'm talking about a legacy that you leave for your family as well. So, here is the bank that we have been told to put our money into, okay? This is a bank, um, name them, I mean, you've got uh, City, J.P. Morgan, all those big fine banks, right? This is where we're supposed to put in our checking. I mean, we're supposed to have a checking and a savings, and this is where we're supposed to keep all of our money. Well, with infinite banking, which should have a big star on the top of it, and I'm not, I can't draw, so don't act like I can. Infinite banking, this is your bank. Look at this, I'm gonna draw some stairs on here. Oh, well. Nope, okay, so this is your bank. And infinite banking means that you wipe this guy out. Now, what that means is, is when you have a policy set up. This is how you're gonna make, that is pretty good. I don't care who you are, that looks like 3D. I did that. And my art teacher said I couldn't draw. Anyway, so when you, uh, when you have your own bank, let's say that you start a policy and you're going to put in um, an initial amount of $10,000 and let's say that you want to deposit $10,000 a year. Well, they set up this policy so that you will know um, what your guaranteed growth will be, okay? So if, let's just say, I got this the other day, I got so tickled because I said that account, that savings, and I was talking about infinite banking, grows at a 3.865%. And the person I was with said, well, that's not very good. And I'm like, really? Let's look at what the 3.85% in a mortgage will draw in interest. And you know why? Because it's on an amortized schedule. The interest is up front, right? All of it's front loaded. But it's already figured for you. Now, with the infinite banking, it is compound interest. So if I deposit $10,000 and then the next year I put in another $10,000, I am drawing compound interest because this $10,000, let's say, I don't even know, let's pretend it made $300 in interest that year. So now the balance is $10,300, right? Well, the interest is going to now be on the $10,300 so when this gets the 300 as well, then you're at 20,600. So then the interest is just, it's compounding. So by your 11th year, you're basically doubling your money, every dollar you put in. It's a beautiful, beautiful system. Now that's not what's so beautiful about it to me. What I love about infinite banking is this. If you had this guy right here, and let's just say he wants to start paying off debt, but he wants to do an infinite banking policy first. So he comes over here and he says, I am going to put 20,000 in, and then I'm, this is your initial deposit. Then I'm going to do 10,000 every year, okay? Now, I can't spell. 
even if you do it in payments or whatever, if you want to do it monthly, that's no big deal. They will set the policy up however you want it set up. But this initial deposit of $20,000 will be liquid in 30 days, approximately 30 days. That means that he can take, let's say, uh, he wants to take 15.8 out and pay off this 410, okay? And let's say that this is at 15% interest, all right? This right here, according to the guaranteed growth, is growing three to six percent in a year, okay? So you're getting three to six percent growth on your 20,000, your initial deposit. But you're going to use 15,816 to pay off Wells Fargo. It still keeps your balance here. It doesn't change. This is not what you actually draw. You take a loan from the insurance company to pay this off. Now, if you have your money sitting in here still drawing 3 to 6%, you're making these deposits every year of $10,000. In 30 days, you took out the money to pay off this, which gained this cash flow, $410. What if you brought that 410 that was 15% and you paid it back to yourself over here to where now you're the bank. You're making payments to yourself. This is growing, right? Your payments are 410. You just switched them back into here. Pay yourself. And when this builds back up, you can take another withdrawal anytime you want to, as long as you've got the funds in there and available. And it just builds. This just continues to build while you're drawing. This interest is compound interest. It's tax-free, guaranteed growth, guaranteed you can't lose it. Why would you want to use any other savings program? And like this isn't enough, this comes with a large death benefit for your beneficiary. So if you have, uh, let's say 400K going to your beneficiary at your death, you can never lose it. So in the event you decide, okay, let's say that you've built this thing up over 10 years and you've got uh, $100,000 in it. And you take $90,000 out to do something, whatever you want to do. Maybe you're going to give your child $90,000 to put as a down payment on a home, or maybe you're going to pay off all of their debt or do, you know, just anything you want to use your money for. No questions asked, no applications. This is just your money in liquid form for you to take it as you need it, okay? So if you take $90,000, let's say you have 100K in here, you take $90,000 out when you're um, 85 to give to your kid and you die and you don't, you don't pay a dime back. They don't care. It's just going to deduct out of what they leave to your beneficiary. So they'll get 310,000 instead of the 90. You don't have to pay back even the loans that you get out of here. If you pay them back, it just keeps compounding your interest. But this money stays. It doesn't matter if you take the if you were to take twenty thousand dollars out, you're still gaining that interest three to six on the twenty thousand. Does anybody have any questions about that? The video I have infinite banking. If you have a lot of questions, please go there because um, that's laid out very very. It's laid out as simply as I knew how to lay it out, and. It is something that everybody sitting in this room right now needs for you, for your children. Oh my goodness, if you start your young children in this, wow. I mean, they are going to be so ready to be their own bank and not have to ever go to a bank for a loan of any kind because it'll be set up and ready. And when you pass on, they'll get that money and then they put it in their infinite policies. So if you want to know more, go ask Joe Biden because he has the policies. Um, go ask your banks 
they only do the infinite banking. That's so silly, isn't it? Because we're thinking they're going out and buying mutual funds because that's what they tell us to do. Or you're thinking, well, they have 401ks because that's what they tell us to do. No, they don't. They have these policies. They live like the rich people live. And this is how they get by tax-free, guaranteed growth, guaranteed not to lose it. I mean, it's a, it's a great system. If you want to read Nelson Nash's book, it was a great book, Be Your Own Bank. Um, that will help you understand more. Uh, I have a link below that I personally use for my infinite banking now. They have a terrific YouTube channel, and it's not IBC. Um, I know people are thinking, well, it's IBC. It's not IBC because that's infinite banking concept, but they aren't even taking people right now. But they, I, I just, uh, I'm not sure about them, what I've studied, but I am sure about who I use, and that is Chris Nagel. It's Chris, N-A-U-G-L-E. I have a link below where you can uh, go in uh, and register for a call. They'll call you and discuss what you want to do with the infinite banking. And you set it up the way you want to make deposits. You can start as low as $250 a month. You don't have to do these initial $10,000 deposits. I'm just saying that the way I bank and the way I like to see things done is when you put in that initial deposit, it immediately starts drawing. You turn around then, then you come and start paying off your debt. This is growing while this is going down and you're paying yourself back. So if you're making 15% interest off of these debts that you were throwing away to the bank, now you can surely see how you're gaining wealth instead of paying the bank and helping them to gain wealth. So let's look at what we got. We need to contact you personally, okay? I have contact links below the video. You're welcome to contact me. The question is from Savannah, would you use money from a HELOC to fund IBC policy? Yes. And I have done that. I have done that. Um, because if you are compounding the interest on the infinite banking, and let's say you're paying 7 to 10% on a HELOC, you are beating that HELOC to death because that money that is going in there that you took off of the HELOC to put into the infinite banking as soon as you put it in there, you turn around, pull it out, and pay your HELOC back off. You're just starting the policy. So you win either way. Those HELOCs, I, uh, I don't trust a lot of them right now because those interest rates are really, um, really piling up and the HELOCs are taking the hit right now. But uh, I feel really bad. I've had people contact me and those rates are going up so high that it's really stealing all of their cash flow right now and they are struggling to stay above water. And I don't know how to help in that situation. That's why I like to see those rates locked so this can't happen. But we are in a predicament right now to where the feds keep hiking those rates and it will stop. I feel confident that we're just in another cycle. It will all go back down and everybody will be breathing again. But for the people that were in HELOCs, first lien HELOCs, that were not locked and those rates are hitting almost at 10%, that is a painful blow and it will steal your cash flow. So uh, besides that though, the HELOC has so many purposes. If you don't have debt and you have a HELOC, you have a wealth builder. My children, if they will use the process like it's set up, then um, they will be well off into the future not having to use banks. We've got, this is my second time seeing your live. I don't understand everything, but I'm willing to learn. How do I contact you personally? What is Velocity Banking? Is this something you offer? No, this is not. I am just teaching what I know. I don't offer anything. I will coach. I do coach. I do take phone calls. I do whiteboards. I have all of that listed in the contact information below. There's links for everything I do down there. So if you want to schedule a call or a whiteboard or whatever, just go to the links below and sign up. 
So I appreciate you all joining me tonight. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, I'll be glad to answer them as I get them. If you need to contact me, I have contact uh, links below. I have fetch links below. I have had people really signing on to that. Uh, fetch is nothing but an app where you make pictures of your receipts and then they give you points. You gain 10,000 points, you get a $10 gift card that I actually use for Amazon that I save up and use at Christmas. So if you sign up under the link below, uh, that'll give you a starting 2,000 points. That gives me 2,000 points for you going through there. But it is a win-win on that too because I have really enjoyed making copies of my receipts and watching that build up. So I've had a lot of good luck with getting the $10 gift cards back from that as well. The infinite banking link is below. Octavia is below. So just anything that you need information on, just go to a link and it'll put you where you want to go. Okay. So I am going to sign off. I will see you in the next video. And I hope that I'm bringing value to each one of you. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will be glad to help you if I need to make a video on it or whatever. I'd be glad to do that just as long as I am helping you all advance in your finances. I appreciate you. And I thank you so much for joining me and for just supporting me. Uh, it's really just been a blessing working with each one of you. And I will talk to you all soon. Okay, have a good night.